Hello and welcome back. In this session we will deal with drawing shapes inside an image using OpenCV library. And the two functions that we are, will be using in this session are cv2.line and cv2.rectangle. And before we proceed with creating a line and a rectangle inside or drawing a line and a rectangle inside an image, we need to create an image. We need to create a canvas in which we can work on so that we will be able to draw lines, rectangles, circles, etc. inside that image that we are going to create. So the first step will be to manually define an image ourselves using a method called np.zeros. So np.zeros here like this method, it will generate a canvas with a size of 300 into 300 pixels with three channels, the red, green and blue channels with data type as 8-bit unsigned integer, just like we see here. We will create a 300-300 pixel image with three channels, RGB channels, and each channel can hold a value from 0 to 255. So we are creating an array of 300 into 300 pixels, where each individual pixel of that array can hold a value of 0 to 255. And within that, each pixel we have three sub channels and this is a code we are going to write which is import numpy as np uh, apart from our previous example we will not be importing an image we will be creating our own canvas so we will be changing the code a bit we will be uh, writing the code as new we will import the numpy library and define an alias as np so that we don't have to type numpy numpy again and again just type np and we will be importing the open cv just like in the previous example and we are going to create a new canvas with the dimension like this channel like this and each channel with a range of 0 to 255 which can be considered as an 8-bit unsigned integer in size. So let's go to our code. Let's close this because we are going to write everything as new. And file save. We can write it like draw lines rectangles. Okay, dot py and click on save. So our new Python program is ready. So we are going to import the library. Import numpy as np. np is alias. And we need to import OpenCV, import CV2. Then we are going to define a canvas of size 300, 300 pixels, comma with three channels, which is R, comma G, comma B, and data type as unsigned 8-bit unsigned integer. So this is a code for that canvas equal to np dot zeros. The size of the canvas is 300, 300 with channel 3, comma d type equal to u i n t 8. So we have defined our canvas. Now we will proceed with the rest of the part. And for drawing a line, we can use a simple function called line. We will be using it like cv2.line. And the first argument is the canvas that we just created. The second argument is the starting point of the line. That is 0, 0 will be some uh, like here, the corner. And all the way up to the width of the canvas. We have defined the canvas width as 300. So 300 pixel width and 300 pixel height. So here it will be 300, here it will be 300. So here we are defining it like we are going to draw a line from 0, 0 all the way up to 300, 300. So a line will be like this. And the color we have defined as green. And we are showing that image in a CV2 window, which is our canvas. That is the image, actual image. And we will declare a weight key. Exactly the same, we are defining a red line. But this time we are providing one more argument. You can see here the argument is canvas starting point, ending point and color. Here it's canvas starting point, ending point, color and one more argument which is the width or the thickness of the line. Here we are defining it as 3. All the other things are the same. So let's try to code this and run it. Let's go to our code and we are defining define color green equal to 0 comma 
255 comma 0 and we are going to draw the line draw draw the line cv2 dot line canvas comma starting point comma ending point 300 comma the color green arguments canvas or the image then starting ending point then the color then we are going to display it we will do one thing we will copy everything and paste it here so that the block of code will be together and the comments will be on top display in cv2 window okay here we are going to display cv2 dot i am show the canvas the canvas at all the title you give and we are passing the canvas which is our image then we are defining a weight key cv2 dot weight key uppercase and zero and this will give us a green line starting from zero point to the ending point of the canvas we will do once again we will copy it and we'll paste it here right now we have green we will change it to red and the red will be it's bgr so 255 the color is red and one more argument which will be the thickness comma thickness is optional okay we are now set to display the line let's go to the console let me clear it and run the program draw lines rectangles dot v we don't have to supply any arguments because this time we are not fetching any arguments press enter and yes we have the canvas here and we have the line starting from here to here 300 pixels so if you move mouse over the cv2 window you can see the coordinates displayed here the channels whenever i reach the green line the channel will change click on that and press any key and now we have the next canvas loaded we have the same line but this time the width is 2 and you can see when I mouse over here the R channel has changed here now it's 0 when I move over the mouse the red color is now 255 all the other things are 0 0 so that's our line drawing program and now we will proceed with draw line with width ok now we will proceed with draw rectangle and for rectangle drawing we need to call a function called cv2 dot rectangle for line we were calling cv2 dot line and for rectangle we need to call the cv2 dot rectangle the arguments are almost all the same it's like the image which is our canvas then the starting point the ending point then the color so starting point is this point where which the rectangle will start and ending point is this point where the rectangle will stop and the cv2 library will fill up the point will join the points so this will be the starting point this will be the ending point and it will join together to form a rectangle exactly the same nothing big change is there and similar to that we have an optional argument for the width of the border of rectangle you can see here I am not specifying anything here I am specifying 3 which is the width of the border of the rectangle one more thing if you specify it as minus 1 it will fill the whole rectangle use minus 1 to fill the whole rectangle so that there will not be any border but it will fill the rectangle ok let's do one thing let's see how it looks like we can reuse the same code we can use the same code for green instead of line we can use rectangle say so we can start the rectangle from a point 10 comma 10 to some 60 comma 60 so it will be a small rectangle over the screen and one more rectangle we are going to draw a red rectangle with color as red 255 but this time we will have a width of 3 and one more rectangle we are going to draw which is a blue rectangle with the first value as 255 all the others are 0 and uh, the width we can specify it like minus 1 so that it will the color will fill the whole rectangle and the color can be defined as blue ok now line 1 line 2 
rectangle 1, rectangle 2, 2 and 3. Let's run it once again. And here we have our first canvas which is a line, press any key and here we have our second canvas which is a thick line, press any key and within that canvas itself we have a rectangle starting from 10 to some 60 and here we have the thickened rectangle and here we have the filled rectangle. And the next session we will deal with drawing circles and filling circles and other circle related drawings. So see you soon in the next session. Have a great time. Bye bye.